Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. We're going behind the scenes at one of the hottest new restaurants in Kentucky. It's Honeywood in Lexington. Great restaurant. This is the latest creation of acclaimed Kentucky chef, Weta Michael. <laughs> She's the one who brought us Windy Corner, Smithtown Seafood, Wallace Station, and Holly Hill Inn in Midway. We just celebrated 15 years of operating the Holly Hill Inn this year. I love the chef's restaurant. She's done a really nice job for our community. Weta is also the chef in residence at the Woodford Reserve Distillery. And there's no one else in the bluegrass who's more Kentucky proud. We've had a changing menu that dedicates itself to what's coming on from our local farms at that time. And I love the local farm food. Here at Honeywood, Weta and her crew are serving food made with the freshest ingredients possible. And they're using so much local food, they even have their own farmer. We have a staff farmer, David Wagner. Josh Schmaus is Honeywood's executive chef. Every week, Monday and Thursday, we get a huge shipment of what he has on the farm, and then our mission is to just cook it. You actually are dictated by the farmer on what you're going to do with yeah. those ingredients. It's also like, <laughs> what's the farmer going to bring me now, and let's here's what we're going to prepare. That's it. The local ingredients is probably the big draw for me. You know, fresh food, local, support the local economy is fantastic. These are greens grown by our farmer. Josh is Kentucky proud himself. I'm from Lexington, actually. I graduated from Taste Creek High School. So this is home for you. It is. I love it. And you gotta love this, too. Josh's sweet potato beignets. Very good. It's definitely the most popular appetizer on the menu. I'm enjoying it, totally. We started offering it, and then we just kept selling out. We serve it with a Benedictine and a sweet chili sauce. And today, Chef Josh is also serving up his secrets so you can make these at home. This is uh, sweet potatoes that are roasted whole, peeled, and smashed. And then they are uh, combined with flour and baking powder, milk. We just scoop them with our, uh, our numbered scoop into hot oil. They come out that beautiful golden brown that you want to see on that. They're all happy. We'll sort of spread this around. This is a Benedictine, which is processed cucumbers and onions, crystal right. hot sauce, salt and pepper. And actually created right here in Kentucky. So yeah. it's, uh, Benedictine is one of those things that uh, is indigenously known here and uh, people enjoy it. So these, look at that, nice and golden brown. Those are beautiful, Chef. I'm telling you, I just want to <laughs> grab one right now. Just have your Benedictine. And then we just have a sauce with uh, red peppers, shallots, garlic, vinegar, sugar. Be locally proud. And this is very interesting. This is very unique. I mean, I haven't seen this anywhere, Chef. Right. It was light and kind of almost like a cake texture, but it was fantastic. It reminds me kind of of a hush puppy. My Benedictine spread was, was really nice. What a great way to start with a fun little appetizer and something you can share if you want. Absolutely. Or eat it for yourself. Or just, or just keep it yourself. Yeah. But don't fill up on beignets because there's a bounty of other things to try at Honeywood. Like their signature shrimp and grits. Another traditional uh, dish here. Shrimp and grits, That's but right. done a little differently. How do you do your chef? Well, we call it uh, shrimp and fish and grits. <laughs> okay. Uh, we use uh, white shrimp from the Gulf of Mexico, and then pieces of corvina and grouper. Go into the pan. These will cook pretty quickly, right? I mean, that, yeah. that fresh fish and those shrimp, I mean. Shallots and garlic. Beautiful. Into the pan. All kind of get together, kind of marry up with each other. That's right. We serve it with grits, of course. These are Weisenberger Mill grits. Okay. Local. Uh, local grits, and then we serve it with our greens. So these are kale, collard greens, turnip greens from our farm, from David Wagner, cooked with pork, onions, vinegar, a little bit of chili sauce, finished with pickles. So our shrimp cooking, our fish is cooking. We have a hyper-concentrated shrimp stock that we call shrimp base, shrimp heads from the Gulf, cooked overnight to make a, saw, a stock, 
and then we take that stock, combine it with Crystal, Worcestershire, beer, bourbon, garlic, onions, bay leaf, and then cook it again. Wow. Reduce it down. Yes. A lot of flavor in yes. that. Absolutely. It's, it's a very powerful sauce. A lot of redu a lot of uh, duplication of flavors. Keep doubling it up for good sauce work. And here's the secret to how that sauce comes together. Just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter <laughs> to finish it. There we go. We add our gremolata, which is uh, pars chopped parsley with garlic and shallots and lemon zest, salt and pepper. What do you think, Chef? Is it there? It's there. Good stuff? Yep. All right. They put a good amount of grits, Weisenberg grits, some greens. The final step is a good amount of that fish, a bit of that sauce on there. We finish it with uh, tobacco onions at the restaurant. Beautiful. So that's going to give it a little crunch factor on there, too. Crunch, spice, salt, oh. all of that. That is gorgeous. No wonder this dish is always on the menu. Stick around, because I'm going behind the bar at Honeywood for one of the best cocktails I've ever tasted. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. We're glad to be with you again, touring Kentucky's favorite restaurants on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird in Lexington at Honeywood. This restaurant is a standout in the summit at Fritz Farm, serving everything from steaks to sandwiches that are made almost exclusively with local ingredients when they're available. You won't find a more Kentucky proud kitchen than this. And according to a lot of locals, you won't find a better burger anywhere in town because the beef is Kentucky proud too. The best burger in town was at Honeywood, plain and simple. You want a burger, come to Honeywood. But there's plenty for vegetarian palates too, like this twist on meatloaf called beetloaf. This is probably our signature dish. It was inspired by my wife. And does she approve of it? She does. <laughs> That's a good uh, She would make veggie burgers at home. We already had two burgers on the menu, so I didn't want to add a third, uh, so we turned it into a meatloaf instead. So, but it is a beet loaf. You're actually sharing the secrets of Bluegrass Chefs by saying this was inspired by your wife. Absolutely. So that's the secret behind this dish. Absolutely. Where does it start? It starts with the beets. The beet the goes on, so right there. Equal parts beet and carrot, brown rice. And it looks like that's already been uh, it has been cooked. cooked. That's okay. right. Chopped up red onion. Very colorful as well. Yes. This is garlic, of course. Chopped parsley. Beautiful. Just keep mixing and mixing. This is sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. Oh, interesting. Gives it the crumbliness that you would associate sometimes with meatloaf. This is eggs and cheese. Eggs and cheddar cheese blended together. So that's going to be kind of a binding agent as well? Binding, that going to help and, the... binding and flavored. Blended oil. Last ingredient is cornstarch. And it just gets packed into... A beetloaf pan. Beetloaf pan, that's right. Be sure you ask the dining company that I want a beetloaf pan and... Pack it in and then we bake it. About an hour and a half. Covered in a water bath. Oh, very nice. So yeah. that'll keep it kind of moist, won't dry out on you? Yeah, it doesn't keep us from getting too crispy. After it's chilled and sliced, that's the there finished product. Be I'll tell you what, look at, there's all that color that you put in there. And we just sear it in the pan, and then it gets served with beetloaf sauce. It's just not meatloaf without a sauce on it <laughs> like right. that. And since that's what we were sort of going for, um, we kind of came up with this. It's onions. Major gray chutney, chili sauce, malt vinegar, and Spanish smoked paprika. This is parsnips, potatoes, rutabaga, and turnips, all mashed together with cream and butter. Oh, meat and potatoes, but beet and potatoes, but yeah. beet and root beet. vegetables go great together. Absolutely. Which goes back to your roots, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Portion of beet loaf on top, and the beet loaf sauce. Pretty generous amount. Beautiful. 
Oh. And just a petite salad on the side. These are greens grown by our farmer, David Wagner. Chef, that looks absolutely fabulous. Kentucky proud all the way and delicious. And actually, I don't mind going vegetarian with a dish like this. It tastes good. It's going to be just as meaty as a meatloaf, but I tell you what, you can't beat this one. You can beat our meatloaf. <laughs> All right, everybody knows the food is great here at Honeywood, but also wonderful cocktail programs. I'm here with Leslie that's going to show us the secrets to their signature cocktail. It's called the Honeywood. It's kind of a play on a brown derby, which is traditionally bourbon and grapefruit. We start with an ounce of grapefruit juice, fresh squeezed. We're also going to use an ounce of this locally made smoked honey grapefruit syrup. It's made by Gents here in Lexington, Kentucky. We're gonna do a half ounce of Aperol, which is a bitter orange liqueur from Italy, aperitif, and then an ounce and a half of Woodford rye. I love that. This is gonna be a very spicy cocktail, I can tell. We're gonna add some ice to our tin. Give it a couple of days shake. Good shake. Right into our coupe glass. All the way to the top. Beautiful, perfect. And then it just gets a little grapefruit peel garnish. Oh, wow. Lots of flavors. I mean, it's, it, and it's fresh, too. It's like a fresh cocktail. I'll tell you what, you know what this tastes like? Another. <laughs> That's all the time we have now. But join us next time when we crisscross Kentucky in search of our favorite food and drink on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs.